It's that time of year again. It is the World Cup of Pokemon. Here we go. So I'm using kind of an offense team. Looks like they have offense too. Valiant, Golden Go. I'm going to really like Salic Berry, Golden Go here. I can trigger the Salic Berry. I start to outspeed Pokemon. Maybe I start Okoing them. So I am using a team built around Dragon Dance, Dragonite. But the key thing is that it's not heavy duty boots. I'm going with more of an offensive team. And the idea is to solve the hazard problem through sheer momentum and power. I'm going to be attacking you so much and so often you won't have time to get your hazards up. And the benefit of a strategy like that is you can use Pokemon who don't need heavy duty boots. You can use different items on them because you're backing yourself to win the hazard game. Now that of course comes with a lot of risk because if you don't win the hazard game, you're in a lot of trouble because you don't have heavy duty boots. So my star Pokemon is a Dragonite without heavy duty boots with leftovers and I'm backing my rapid spin Iron Treads to be able to accomplish that. I have other Pokemon too, like Golden Go and Darkrai, which are really, really cool, but I have to be able to keep hazards off. Now that's kind of tough here because Glamora puts T-Spikes on the field and my Iron Treads will hit it physically, T-Spikes go up, it's a whole mess of a problem here. They might lead Ogre Pond to counter lead my Iron Treads, so I want to be in the driver's seat by going to Darkrai first. Darkrai into Ogre Pond. Basically what I wanted, now I have the advantage here, Sludge Bomb with Expert Belt is really good, hits everything. Maybe they go Glamora, not sure. So my Sludge Bomb is going to be powerful with the Expert Belt to boost it. So this is basically what I wanted, I kind of figured they would lead into Iron Treads with the Ogre Pond. That's probably Red Card Glamora, Iron Defense Leftover Zamazenta maybe. Uh, the typical Dragon Dance Roaring Moon, Ogre Pond. Relatively straightforward, I do like my Dragonite in this matchup, and I have my Sludge Bomb coming up. They are unlikely to knock me out, and of course I outspeed. If they have Trailblaze, they have Trailblaze, that's not too common though. Okay. Okay, we get the Poison. Cudgel, we don't faint. Overall, really, really good. They don't have a Pokemon that can really do much to Iron Treads now. It'll get Stealth Rock up, it'll get Earthquakes off. Pretty happy with that result. They can go Zamazenta, you know. But even now, 383, we're outspeeding everything, which is good. It's a speed tie with Darkrai, though. Could be Scarf Darkrai, but I don't get the feeling this team would want Scarf Darkrai. Maybe it could be with Scarf Trick, for example. That's a good anti-offense Pokemon, so maybe. So if they go to Darkrai here, it's just a Focus Blast potential speed tie, but I would have no idea. If they go to Zamazenta, that's not really that great, because... I have Valiant for that, I have Golden Go for that, so overall a really good trade from the outset, getting the poison obviously really good. They go to Zamazenta. Now that's something I'm not really mad about, because what are they doing now? Because they hit into Valiant, they hit into Golden Go. What I'm actually interested in is, do, you, do I think they're going to double switch? So, they predict Valiant or Golden Go, and they just switch out to, how would they try and predict that? Ro Roaring Moon, kind of not really. Glamora, kind of not really. I can think, I think I can go Golden Go safely. They can double switch, but not really, so. Yep, there we go. That worked out pretty much how I would hope it, it, it was going to work out there. Now, D-Gleam is good. I like to go Treads, because... My Treads is not, is not scared of Glamora, because I can just really easily rapid spin Earthquake, Stealth Rock type stuff. D-Gleam's kind of nice to catch Roaring Moon. If I D-Gleam into Red card, that's good too. I'm just going to give a D-Gleam in. They go to Primarina. No leftovers. Pretty comfortable switch to Ogre Pond here. They can predict that and go to Roaring Moon, but I have Play Rough if that happens. Well, I wouldn't outspeed, of course. Ogre Pond feels comfortable, but again, I have to think they, they might get aggressive, just go hard Roaring Moon here. Do I D-Gleam predicting Roaring Moon? Because Ogre Pond feels really free. They could Calm Mind too. I'm just going to D-Gleam again. Fine. 32. Special attack drops annoying. Now I'm definitely going Ogre Pond. They know it. 61. Now... I'm in a good spot here. I can hit every Pokemon they have, and I can hit them hard. The question is which ones. I'm going to call a shot. I'm going to play rough into Roaring Moon. But maybe that's not a good idea, because Trailblaze is good too. 
Honestly, just getting damage from play rough is good into pre marina. That's why I'm going to play rough. Not because I do want to hit Roaring Moon, but play rough is a good damage output into any Pokemon here. They go to Glamora, probably going to red card me. No red card. Now I have Cudgel coming in. Again, Cudgel's, Cudgel is kind of obvious here. In fact, it's definitely obvious, but how do they punish it, right? I wonder if it's Scarf Darkrai. I'm not, I can't get a good picture of what's going on here. I just Cudgel. Yep. Yeah, no need to get too saucy. I Encore if they want to, you know, do anything crazy like Dragon Dance on me. Like Dragon Dance Flying, for example. To get out of play rough. That's fine, yeah. Yeah, so my, my Iron Treads can do well here. Is that the approach I want to go, or do I want to go Dark Ride, throw off Ice Beams into stuff? I do want to get rid of T-Spikes. Yeah, Treads is fine here. Get the Speed Booster, Rapid Spin, we have Ice Spinner too to hit the Flying Terra as well. I'm definitely scared of Scarf Dark Ride. That could be a potential really big problem because it would outspeed my entire team. Okay, they go to Hard Zamazenta. Now, how do I deal with this Pokemon here? Stealth Rock is good to remove, like, a potential Focus Sash. I also have Terra Ghost. That's not really an option I want to do, though. Do I want Stealth Rock? How badly do I want Stealth Rock here? Do I think it's Leftover? So I very much doubt it has Encore. I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared of Roaring Moon, but it doesn't have the booster energy anymore, so that's always convenient for me. Basically, do I want to greed Stealth Rock here instead of going to Golden Go or Valiant? I think I do. The Iron Defense, that's fine to an extent. They're probably going to Roar if I had to guess. Body press, it's fine. Go to Valiant here. I threaten Moonblast, which I like. I don't even need to Encore Body Press. But should I be scared of Heavy Slam? Body Press, Iron Defense, Heavy Slam. My Golden Go probably matches up well if that happens. Yeah, if they have Heavy Slam, I still have my, my Golden Go with Salic Berry, so I'm not too worried about that. Or should I Calm Mind? If I'm, if I'm making this prediction here, should I simply Calm Mind? I can Calm Mind. Yep, they go to Roaring Moon. We Moonblast into that. They're going to go to their Scarfer. They're going to go to Primarina, doesn't really matter. My Salic Berry Golden Go still looking good. They go to Primarina. Now... Do I Terra Ghost to get out of the Moonblast weakness is my idea. My Dragonite probably always does well here. I can simply Moonblast. Should I Terra Ghost though? Now I'm going to save my Terra for Dragonite. Or should I Calm Mind again? Let's just Moonblast. 46. It's fine. Now I go to Dragonite. Now, let's be careful. I'm low on time. I don't want to Dragon Dance into, like, Encore or something. It's earthquake. Is it... They go to Zamazenta? Okay. Dragon Dance. Terra Blast Flying. Golden Go in, and I should be fine now with my Salic Berry. Okay, Salic Berry activate, Shadow Ball into Zamazenta, D Gleam, and my Dragonite with Fl Terra Flying should be fine. D Gleam in, Dark Pulse. Now, they can flinch me. But it comes down to this, and then there's another speed tie with Dark Ride into Dragonite. Oh no. Okay. 
So th they have to... Ice Beam doesn't KO, by the way. They have to flinch again. Double flinch, and they have to win speed tie. Come on. There we go. All right, that's game one of the World Cup of Pokemon. Stay tuned for games two and three, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, also, make sure to subscribe if you want more. Our goal is 50,000 subscribers by the end of the month, year. I don't know. I make the goal up randomly, but we want to get more subscribers. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time.